Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Moro and Preddy here in the Zonaga Caverns. Preddy spawning as the blue Terran player on the south side of the map. Meanwhile, Moro spawning over here on the north side of the map. Moro, a red Terran player versus blue and um, blue, oh, sorry, red Zerg versus blue Terran. Interested to see how this matchup goes. I did cast an earlier game between these two players. It is on the SC Legacy website if you have not gone there and www.youtube.com slash SC Legacy. That is another channel which I volunteer for and try to put up some shout casts as well. So Preddy opened, opened up with a very aggressive, actually, no, you know what? Go ahead and watch that game. Probably you guys are watching these out of order and you guys can see what happened in that matchup between Preddy and Moro. Standard 10 Supply Depot being built over here. However, it is not being built on the front door. So a little curious as to how Preddy would be able to handle any banelings that try to come in into this location. Back over here, we now see Moro continuing to just power drone, getting a lot of drones very, very early. And the Zerg being able to train three drones at the same time will give them a little bit of an economic advantage in just a moment. Now sitting on 12 Harvesters, and you're going to see that the number is going to go up indeed. Also, the Zerg have the advantage that it does not take an SCV or a Harvester um, away from mining in order to build one of their overlords. So one of the benefits of Zerg early on, however, um, you do sacrifice a drone every single time you want to build a building. So it looks as though Moro going to build a drone or build a hatchery over here. Drone will grow up to be a hatchery and be able to spawn some creep as well as one drone now makes its way to the south side. We now have a barracks being positioned down over here and we'll be able to start training up marines in just a moment. And now an SCV also making its way out in terms of scouting. We also have a refinery currently in place, so Preddy may be able to go for an earlier factory or an early factory as well. Not exactly sure what the whole entire strategy will be at this time as one Marine's currently being trained. That drone will be able to make it up this ramp and get some early sight into the space. And now Preddy focusing a lot on this gas, early gas economy, will be able to get a lot of information or sorry, a lot of tech out in just a moment as this drone needs to pull out of there. Oh, that drone may get shot down. That drone down to 17 hit points and this Marine will just continue to give chase and now Moro going to use this extractor trick in order to deny gas coming in from Preddy. Preddy will be forced to run off of one gas for quite some time as more marines are now being trained. One overlord now positioning itself over here making sure to catch any drops that are going to be flying off to that north position here and now we have a spawning pool and an extractor being built put down. We should be getting some queens in just a moment. One queen now being trained. A second hatchery now coming into position as well so another queen should be trained as well. As we are now going into, no, Moro has one extractor here and then another extractor over here constantly being canceled. And those Marines just um, slowly making their way forward, want to try to destroy this extractor. Extractor will get canceled. And oh no, not quite yet. Extractor still being built. Three Marines trying to shoot it down. However, it looks like it will get destroyed and down goes that drone. So Preddy not really even focusing that much gas here. Just wanted to get rid of that. And those Marines did a great job just trying to clear off any of that additional scouting. One Zergling able to take down one SCV here. So both sides losing some amount of minerals so far. Back over here, we now see more Marines being trained. Hellion being trained up as well. And perhaps we will see the Infernal Pre-Igniter research being researched as well as soon as, yes, getting up to 150 gas. So Preddy now going for more Hellions. And I'm expecting to see Roaches coming in from Moro if Moro is able to gain sight into this position, into this base. As these Hellions come out, they will be able to deal a lot of damage very, very early as that one Hellion now making its way out, getting a little bit of to toasting damage onto that Zergling. That Zergling will be the toast of the town as that Hellion moves a little bit more quickly. And now trying to get out in front of that one Zergling. Zergling now going to be positioned here. Will this Hellion be able to finish it off? Yes, it will be able to finish off. No. Finally going after that Zergling. Zergling down to two hit points. There it goes. One quick kill as this Hellion now wants to deal some damage. We do see one spine crawler currently being morphed into play. However, Marines will be coming in and Marines shooting down an Overlord there. So now we see that Moro is, a, is now supply locked at 31 over 28 production wise. Infernal Pre-Igniter has nearly been completed. We do have two Hellions now sitting at the front door. Those Hellions will be able to deal a lot of damage. Queen's now trying to lay down some Creep Tumors as well, enabling them to get a lot of a lot of walking uh, walking and maneuvering. So two Hellions currently in play. A third Hellion will join them. And now Preddy most likely will be moving out with these three Hellions to deal some damage. Infernal Pre-Igniter Research just needs, what, four more seconds. And that will be done. And nothing on the ramp. And oh, this is going to be a very, very bad sign indeed. Queen's not trying to come over, toasting these drones very, very easily. So many drones getting taken down. 
and I think that's got to be game right there. So you can see so many drones were taken down though there. The drones all trying to get away, getting more splash damage. So many drones killed there. And now Hellion is just doing a great job, now trying to fight back. Queen now trying to get back onto the low ground, getting more kills in. And Moro says GG once again. So, um, Preddy doing a great job with those early Hellions and early Hellion harassment to try to contain a Zerg player. A Zerg player, um, a Moro, not a shabby Zerg player, just getting um, just completely destroyed by early Hellion harassment. I believe if he had positioned one queen on this ramp, he would have he would have been very, very fortunate. However, that queen moved off in order to place on a creep tumor and did not move back in time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening um, to this rather short game between Moro and Preddy here in the Zelnaga Caverns.